Welcome to the Cruising Aboard Chicory video series. Today we're going to cover how we anchor Chicory. So you can see land ahead of us, that's where we're going to anchor. I'm going to pan to my one screen that shows that we're six minutes and 40 seconds out. And you can see our route here. And um, when Tracy or I plot a course, where we're going to anchor, we place a circle on the screen uh, showing exactly where we want to anchor. Now we can move that circle depending on if there are boats in the area and uh, where radar plots are shown. Uh, there's no boats around here right now, so this is not an issue. And this circle has a radius based on the depth and the scope that we want to use. Uh, we'll double check that when we approach, but we automatically calculate this circle. So we're gonna go to the middle of this circle and drop our anchor, and we know that um, no matter which way we swing, we'll be uh, clear of any of these depth contours. And in addition, we would be clear of any boats, which I can show you in another clip. So one of the things that I'm gonna consider here is uh, currently we're 185 degrees heading and uh, wind is coming from 60 degrees. So I know that the wind is gonna be coming from about this angle. So when I get close, I'm gonna turn the autopilot off I'm going to swing around uh, to this far side and come in to the anchor circle this way so that uh, I'm into the wind. And I'll use my apparent wind gauge to see that I am going directly into the wind before we drop the anchor. So how I have this set up is I have my middle screen is zoomed in really far in preparation for anchoring. I have my uh, port side screen zoomed out just a little bit but still zoomed in quite a bit. And then in this side, I have an anchor alarm quick button. Uh, it's called a quick access button. So as soon as Tracy starts to drop the anchor and tells me that it's hit the ground, I click that button and it drops a uh, anchor circle alarm, which you'll see shortly. I'll be back in a second once we get a little closer. I'm gonna give just a little bit more detail on the depth and how I calculate that yellow circle we put on the chart. The depth that we talk about and the proper way to determine scope is the depth of the water at high tide, make sure you take high tide into consideration, plus the distance from the water to the height of your ground tackle attachment to the boat. Now we use a bridle and so it's not quite at the bow roller, but it's pretty close. And so we just use the bow roller as kind of a safety margin as our measurement. And we say that's plus five feet from the surface of the water. Now, as far as figuring scope, our standard scope when we know the holding is good is a scope of five to one. So basically it's uh, the depth that we've calculated times five and that's how much road we put out. We may increase that scope to a seven to one if we don't know the holding or we're expecting some high winds. And finally, we go to a 10 to one scope or 10 times the depth uh, if we're expecting tropical force winds. Uh, we did a video short time ago about us um, waiting out a hurricane at anchor and at that time we used a 10 to one scope. So uh, depending on these circumstances, we decide the size of the yellow circle that we put on our chart and that's all based on these measurements. So we're about 1800 feet away right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mouse over my route line and cancel the navigation. And then I'm gonna put us on auto and I'm going to start to steer off course a little bit so that I am going to um, the right of my anchor circle so I can come in at an angle so that my bow is into the wind. So I can see that my autopilot now, I have it set for auto and it's steering by uh, compass direction only. And uh, you can see the blue line right there is what our old route was. Um, and we're going off that. And then out in front of me, you can see that we're getting closer to land. Uh, Tracy's on the bow, ready to deploy the anchor. Uh, we're about five minutes away from this, so I'll be back in a second. Now we're getting a little closer. You can see on this screen, 
our relative position and now you can see on the big screen how much is we're getting closer so I'm slowing down the engine to idle so you can see my, my engines at idle right now and then I'm gonna put my autopilot to follow-up mode from uh, auto so that I can steer and you can see that tricking my wind direction. You can see that it's coming basically from my port quarter. So I have to go a little past this yellow circle before I do my turn. I'm still in gear and moving forward at uh, 4.2 knots. I'm going to start my turn now. And you can see that Rotating into the circle. I'm going to straighten out my rudder now a little bit. And then starting to come in our anchor circle. I'm going 2.5 knots right now and I'm going to shift out of gear. And then I am steering into the bottom of our anchor circle. See Tracy standing up above. I'm just steering so that we're coming into the circle. I'm entering the circle now. I'm at two knots. In 1.9, it's starting to scrub off speed. You can see over here, I can see that I am almost into the wind, but have to steer a little bit to port. So I'm going to steer my follow up over to port. And I'm looking at the waves and you can see that the waves are pretty much telling me exactly what my uh, apparent wind indicator is showing that um, I'm about to head into the waves. I've got to go a little bit more to port. You can see that I'm approaching the middle of my circle. I've slowed down to one knot, which is great. Once again, I'm out of gear. Once again, I'm checking outside and uh, I'm going to bring the helm to straight ahead because the waves are looking about right. I'm about in the middle of my anchor circle. I'm at 0.7 knots, 0.6 knots. I'm beginning to oversteer just a little bit, so I'm going to go hard to starboard to make sure that I'm in the middle of the circle. We look perfectly uh, centered uh, on the waves and the circle. I'm going 0.5 knots, 0.4 knots, so I'm going to shift it into reverse right now. And you can see this yellow line is showing me my relative uh, speed and direction. And you can see it's getting smaller and smaller because I'm going 0.1 knots now. And then I'm almost starting to do reverse. So I'm going to ask Tracy to start uh, dropping the anchor. And she's gonna tell me as soon as it hits. And I'm going to take my mouse over here. Tracy just told me we're going fast to starboard, so I'm going to counter steer just a little bit. I'm putting on the anchor alarm, and then I'm looking at back. You can see where our anchor was dropped compared to where we wanted to drop. Uh, we are going 0.4 uh, knots backwards. Oh, we're going actually a little diagonally, so I'm going to put it into reverse and make sure that this dotted line swings behind us. You can see how it's swinging right now. And All right, now that we're going backwards, I am shifting out of gear. I'm gonna bump us in forward just a second to slow us down. You can see this yellow line is getting extended a little bit. Now we're only going 0.3 knots. And uh, the anchor just grabbed. You saw that yellow line go forward and you can see out in front of us that the boat is swinging around. So Tracy's gonna let out a little bit more anchor and I'm going to back down just a little bit more. see that the indicator line is heading back again as we back down. And there's Tracy.
Tracy up in the bow looking at the chain, looking at our ankle and making judgments about when she should drop and when she shouldn't. You can see she stopped so that the bow would swing around a little bit more. backwards at 0.4 knots. deployed the 80 feet that we determined was correct uh, and how we calculated that just roughly is we have 4.43 feet below us currently we're full of fuel and water so we're drafting about six feet so we're just going to say that we're in a, uh, about 10 feet of water plus five feet from the water line to the bow roller is 15 feet and so we're putting out 80 feet so we have an acceptable scope. So right now she's putting on a bridle which is made out of three strand braid and she has a uh, dimene soft shackle that she puts through a link and puts through two spliced loops on the end of the bridle and she puts it out through the anchor roller and then drops enough chain so that there's a loop in it she'll tell me when there is uh, the loop available so that I can back down. She just gave me the high sign that we uh, have the loop in the bridle. So I just shifted us into reverse. I am at idle and you can see that we're backing down and what we're going to do is we're going to see the bow swing around to the starboard because we're straightening up on the chain and I'll show you what that looks like on the screen here uh, it stopped here because we have the chain completely tight and there is no aft movement and so I'm going to increase our RPMs to 1500 for a second and drop it back down and you can see that we did not move it all backwards it held and uh, that means we are stuck. So that concludes this anchoring. I uh, appreciate you watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Until next week, we'll see you.